Hi, I'm Sam from Needcraft and today I'm going to demonstrate how to make one of these fantastic sewing bin kits from our great creative range of kits at Needcraft. So this sewing bin kit has got lots of brilliant features. It's a really handy storage size and it comes with an integral handle here that's really strong. It's also got rounded corners, making it a really elegant shape. So something that you could have next to your sewing machine to put in your threads or your fabrics, or alternatively, you can just have things like your notions, your tape measure, your pattern, everything you need really to make up your garment or your project that you're working on that day. So a really handy storage size. It's also got a base in the bottom, which I'll show you as part of the demonstration that's removable. So you can always give that a wipe clean if you need to. So a really brilliant product if you're creative. You could put your knitting needles in here and your wool, it doesn't just have to be for sewing. So a really good all-round storage kit. So I'm just going to take you through what you get as part of your kit and what's in the box. So it comes in this really nice package size. I'm just going to open this here and we'll have a little look. So first of all, you've got your frames for your kit. They're identical, so there's no worry about getting mixed up between them. Um, so you have two of these that create the top and the bottom of the frame. So that will be holding all your bin kit together. Then you've got the base, which I mentioned before, which can easily be wiped over if you've just got any threads on there or any dust or little bits of fabric. So really nice and sturdy for the bottom. And then you have your PVC. Now this comes rolled up in a tube like this, but I have one that I can just show you here. So this is your PVC panel and it's um, got a sticky back on one side and this is a peel back paper that we're going to take away as part of the demonstration. And then just over on the other side, you'll notice that the panel has got score marks down each side. And this is called our kiss cut. And these can really be easily removed to create exactly the right margin of fabric that we're going to need to make up our bin kit. You'll also notice on this panel that you already have your tape applied for you. And that's going to join our seam together as one of the stages of the demonstration. Now this is a 12 millimeter and it's reinforced tape. So it's really, really sticky, which will make sure that your bin stays together um, for a, you know forever really so a really good product so that's going to go round our curves so just the other things in our kit so we have our double-sided high tack tape now this tape again is really tacky perfect for the job that we need it for and you'll notice that it's flexible and it's also transparent so we're going to stick this onto our frames that are going to make up the main components of our bin. Um, so a really good product. And also you've got this, which is a finishing tool. And the finishing tool has um, two long sides and a point at the top, and then it has a serrated edge. And what we're going to do, just you can see here, just we're going to tuck all of our fabric underneath. So it gives it a really professional finish. The lovely thing about this kit is, is that you can choose your fabric. So you can personalize it any way you want. You can choose a fabric that fits in with your room, that follows your color scheme. It might be just something you've got left over from a project that you absolutely love and you really want to see on a daily basis. So lots of different options uh, for the way that you can decorate your kit. We've also got our step-by-step -step pictorial instructions. We have these in all of our kits. So it just means that you can follow the step-by-steps through and make sure that at every stage you're getting a really professional finish. So there's lots of hints and tips as you go through and that's the final part of your kit. So let's move on to making our kit up. So I'll just move the box out of the way. So just a note on fabrics and what you will need at home to make up your kit. 
We always stick with a woven fabric. Um, you can use a cotton or a polyester, you could even use a linen, or even an upholstery weight fabric would be absolutely fine, but it's just important that it's woven. Um, stretch fabric doesn't tend to work very well with this kit, purely because it won't work with the adhesive, and everything will stretch out of shape, and you won't get the finish that you're looking for. So a woven fabric. The other things that you'll need at home, you'll probably already have them in your kind of creative kit, is a pair of dressmaking scissors or fabric scissors. Um, you can also use a scalpel, a craft scalpel, if you want to, craft knife, uh, but just make sure that you've got something to protect your surface, like a cutting mat as well. And then I usually just have a little pair of scissors for snipping my tape. So that's all you need as well as your clean flat surface. Um, so really nothing that you shouldn't already have at home. So just to make up the kit, you need to make sure that you've pressed your fabrics because we don't want any creases in your fabric because obviously that's going to be smooth onto the PVC as you can see here. And we just want to make sure that it's going to look as good as possible. So just lay your fabric out pressed onto your surface. And if you just put that face down and what we're doing is we're just putting our PVC on top also face down so that the grid line pack the backing paper stays facing the top of the fabric there. So I'm just going to clear my work area a little and just move a few things out of the way. So pop those on there. The first thing we need to do is line up our PVC panel onto our fabric. Now this particular fabric is an all over fabric but you just need to think about if you have a certain design that you might want to capture on the side of your sewing bin kit. Um, you just need to make sure that that sits within the kiss cut lines. So you don't want the pattern going all the way to the edge of the PVC because that won't be seen on the bin. So just laying this down I'm just going to peel back the backing paper. There we go. And all we need to do is around about five to ten centimetres, just fold that back and then we're just going to position and you just push in place and I just usually rub my fist along there. And then we're going to take the backing paper and peel it back. So you just have to pop your hand under the PVC and you can pull quite a, a section at a time, sort of 20 centimetres or so. And it's just making sure that your fabric stays lined up. So you can imagine if you were using something with a stripe on it, you would just need to really take care on this section. So pull away again. And keep pulling that back, the backing paper, and just rubbing down with your fist. And again. Great. So that's all now nicely adhered. And I was just flip over, just double check that there's no loose frays that have been caught underneath. And that, that that's all sitting nicely and it is that's lovely okay and then just turn back over and now we just need to cut round the PVC so you can use like I say dressmaking scissors or alternatively a craft knife I prefer using scissors so I usually just start on a short end and just cut in and all we're doing is using the PVC there as a guide. So the scissors just sit along the edge of the PVC and this edge here isn't actually ever going to be seen but it's just important that you use that edge to create the right margin of fabric. And then just turn that around and the same again.
There we go. So, just a little nick there. So now we have the fabric cut out with the PVC. So that's the shape that we're looking for. So now I'm just going to take away these kiss cuts. So all we need to do is just fold back the kiss cut and you'll hear in places that it will start to crack open. And then round on the other side, exactly the same again. And sometimes if you give it just a tiny little wiggle, then it'll break open. And then you just simply, at the end, I usually just push one down and the other up if it's not already cracked open. We're just going to gently peel back. this margin of PVC. So taking the kiss cut away, you can just see that some of the frays are coming off there, but as long as we're not pulling on those too hard, that should be fine. I'm just exactly the same again. So pushing down and lifting up, and we're just gently going to remove the PVC. So the stickiness will stay on the PVC, not on the fabric. Just a few frays coming off there, so just being a bit gentle. There we go. And with those frays now, what I'm going to do is I'm just literally going to snip those off so they're not going to get into our way. If you have a fabric like a linen, um, it will more than likely happen, and it will happen with some cottons, with others it won't. Um, but it's not a problem because this edge here won't be seen at all. So just before we finish working with the panel, um, if we just turn it around so the taped end is over here, we just need to look along and around about 30 centimetres, just over, so about the length of a ruler, you'll see that there's two little notches um, and those notches we're going to use as a marker which is quite important in the construction of the bin. So I'm just going to take a pen and just mark those in so I can see them a little bit more clearly. So they're just like little tiny snips into the side of the PVC. So we'll just mark those in. So the next thing I'm going to move on to is the frames. So these are two identical frames. I'm going to take our double-sided high-tack tape and we're just going to simply roll the tape onto the rings. So, so, let me show you how that's done. So if you just position the tape onto the ring, what we're looking for is for the frame to sit between the two edges of the tape. And that's why the tape is transparent. So we're just going to short bursts, unravel the tape from the roll and moving it down and just round those corners, making sure that it's adhered and keeping moving round just the corner there, it's just off a little bit, so I've just recentered it. So you can pull it back and move it back into position if you don't think it's quite right. And then just before the two tapes meet, I usually just snip just a little bit before and that means that you can easily see where your tapes join but it also means they don't overlap which makes it a little bit tricky to pull the backing off and then with our fingers and thumbs we're going to roll the tape around the ring and this is quite important because we just want to make sure that there's as much coverage of the tape as possible on the frame because the frame is the part that's going to hold the whole sewing bin together. So just keep moving round. Just on those corners, just make sure that you've got that firmly round. There we go. 
So that's one, and then we're just going to repeat exactly the same on the second one. Just lining up the tape so it's in the centre. And again, fingers and thumbs just pushing the tape around the frame as much as possible just to get that as sticky as possible. Just on those corners, really pushing down. So we've now done both of our frames with our tape and it's now time to take the backing tape off. So just one at a time and just when you pick up the backing tape you're only peeling away the red section. So just make sure you don't grab the clear section because that's the actual tape itself. And if any of the tape lifts off, just simply just pop it round and you'll feel the tackiness of it. So that's one done. And then what I've just learned to do is just pop that there on my wrist while we do the next one. Just so you're laying it down on your table and it picking up any dust or threads. So... There we go. So what's important here is that this centre bar sits on to your mark that you've just marked in with a pen or a pencil. I'm just going to turn this around a little bit so that I can really see my marks and we're aiming to put down each one and you can do this individually just onto the PVC and the same again at the other side. You're just going to go straight down and on and onto the PVC and if you don't get it straight on you can always lift those up but what that will make sure is that the two frames are totally equal so um, it's just good to take your time and do it looking down from over the top as I've just done okay so now we can just turn this back and what we need to do is just very gently, we're going to bring the sides up. The aim is, is that the tacky tape, we don't want to put too much pressure on because that will help us later on when we're tucking everything in, is just to pull that up into position and the same on this side. And as we move on, that will just tighten up. So we're not putting too much pressure on as we're rolling now. And what we're going to do is we're just going to guide these. And I find it easy just to do, look at one at a time. Don't worry about both because you can always peel back. So just making sure that that's sitting just to the edge. And that one's a little bit out. So just, there we go. And then we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to roll over onto this big length. So we're just gently positioning the frame onto the PVC, not pushing down too hard. And here it's just gone off a little bit, so you can see I just lifted that. And then we're going to get to this point here. And what we need to do is simply peel off the backing and we're just going to bring up the PVC towards it so we can get a really nice finish. And just give that a tiny little bit of pressure, but don't push in on there because we don't want to damage the PVC. So that's meeting now. And what you can do with this, if you've got one, if optional, is a seam roller. And you just roll down there and that will just secure those two together. And you can see now that the sewing bin is coming together really, really nicely, starting to look really professional. So before we take, we do the next stage, you'll just notice here on the seam that there's two little fabric overlaps. So there's kind of two bits that are the same size that flap over each other. What we want to do is just simply cut away a little square out of here. There we go. And then exactly the same on the other side. So just cut away that inside fabric. Okay, and that prepares us now ready for the next stage. So all we're going to do is with our fingers and thumbs again is just push the fabric down. When you get to the centre bar, we just need to do a little snip 
and that means that the fabric will then just really nicely sit down either side so we're just pushing the fabric down and under and that's giving us a lovely crisp clean edge along here and when you get to these corners just fold the fabric around and that should start to stick to the tape underneath and this is just all preparation for when we tuck those edges under the fabric margin there so and again we get to the center bar give that a little snip and just make sure on the corners you pull the fabric nice and tight so that's one side done and then we're just going to turn over and do exactly the same on the opposite side product so so all we need to do now is just take our finishing tool as I mentioned before it's got two long sharp edges and then a sharp point and a serrated edge as well now you can use this any way you feel comfortable I prefer to use the point I find that most effective for me but by all means have a go with the serrated edge as well because that means you can get large amounts underneath and what we need to do here is we just need to simply take our point or our serrated edge and we're just going to very gently push the fabric underneath and you can see that that's going in really really easily because we didn't put a lot of pressure when we were positioning the frame onto the PVC so that's going in really easily And if you need to and there's any loose frays you can just kind of swoop along and I'm just going to turn that on its end there so you can see and where we've tucked that fabric earlier that helps us because it's already started sticking to the little bit of tape there and just keep moving round until all the fabric is underneath There we go so that's one side finished so you can see how easy that was just tucking the fabric underneath and then we just need to repeat the same process on the opposite side and there we have it so that's all our tucking in finished we're just going to pop our base in. That's the last thing we need to do. So you just need to have a think at this point of your fabric direction. So if we had something like trees or flowers growing upwards, then we would want to make sure our base went in the right side. So just pop your base in. It'll fit really snugly in the bottom, as you can see there. And that's all done. So this is a great sewing companion for any projects that you might be making or any craft um, that you're working with um, and a great gift for uh, friends and family or even for yourself at home. So I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and that we've inspired you to make one of these kits. Thank you.